Good evening, and welcome to our peaceful time of reflection and rest. Tonight, as the stars twinkle outside and the world quiets down, we turn to a story of courage, faith, and victory against all odds. We open the sacred pages to the inspiring tale of David and Goliath. Whether you're snuggled up in bed or settling down in your favorite chair, let your heart be open to the timeless lessons this story offers. As we journey through this tale, may you find comfort and strength in its message. In the Valley of Elah, a dramatic scene unfolds, the Philistines, on one side, the Israelites on the other. Among the Philistines stood a giant named Goliath, his presence terrifying. Every day, he challenged the Israelites to send a warrior to fight him, but none dared to face this colossal adversary. Enter David, a young shepherd, not a warrior by appearance but mighty in faith. When David heard Goliath's taunts, he was filled not with fear, but with righteous indignation. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? David asked. Here, the story unfolds not just as a clash of physical might, but as a profound testament to faith. David's courage stemmed not from his strength or skill, but from his unwavering belief in the Almighty. In this tale, the sling and stone aren't just tools of battle, they symbolize the power of faith over brute strength, the divine over the earthly. Now, let's turn our gaze inward. Like David, we all face giants. Our Goliaths may not be towering warriors, but they are the fears, doubts, and trials that loom large in our lives. What are your giants? Financial worries, health struggles, or perhaps, personal conflicts. Let's take a moment to reflect. Imagine standing in that valley, your giant before you. Do you cower in fear, or do you, like David, find strength in your faith? David's story teaches us that no giant is too big when we stand with God. Your faith, no matter how small it seems, is powerful. It's your sling and stone against the Goliaths of life. So, how can we embody David's courage in our daily lives? First, recognize that fear does not signify the absence of faith. It's okay to feel afraid. What's important is how we respond to that fear. Like David, we can choose to trust in God's strength. As you prepare for rest tonight, consider a simple practice. Write down the worries burdening your heart. As you do, imagine handing each one over to God, just as David trusted God in battle. Let this act be your symbolic sling and stone, a gesture of faith amidst fear. The Lord who rescued me from the paw of the lion and the paw of the bear will rescue me from the hand of this Philistine, said David in 1 Samuel 17 verse 37. These words remind us that God's support in our past challenges is an assurance of His presence in current and future trials. And in 1 Samuel 17 verse 45, David declares to Goliath, I come against you in the name of the Lord Almighty. This bold proclamation is a testament to facing life's battles not in our name, but in the Lord's. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, as we lay down to rest, we bring before you our giants, our fears, and our struggles. Like David, may we find courage in your presence. In the face of life's Goliaths, remind us that with you, no challenge is insurmountable. Grant us a peaceful rest tonight, secure in the knowledge that you are with us, our rock and our redeemer. Lord, in the quiet of this night, we also seek your wisdom and guidance. Just as you led the Israelites through the desert, lead us through the challenges of our lives. Instill in us a deep trust in your plan, a plan that is good and filled with hope. We pray for those who are facing trials of their own. May they feel your comforting embrace and be strengthened by your love. Help us to be a source of support and encouragement to them, embodying your love and compassion. As we rest in your care, fill our hearts with gratitude for the blessings of this day. Help us to see your hand in both the big and the small moments, teaching us to appreciate the gift of life in all its complexity. Finally, Father, as we close our eyes, we ask for your protection through the night. Watch over us, our loved ones, and all who are in need of your loving care. In the assurance of your presence, may we wake refreshed and ready to serve you and others in new ways tomorrow. In your holy name, we pray. Amen. Feel free to share your thoughts or personal reflections in the comments below. Let this be a space of mutual support and encouragement. 
If you know someone who might find solace in this story, do share this video with them. As we conclude our story of David and Goliath, remember that the same God who was with David is with us. No matter the size of our giants, our faith and God's presence are greater. Sleep peacefully tonight, dear friends, knowing that you are held in God's loving embrace. Good night, and God bless.